if you mess up, you're just like, this is a part of my beautiful plant boy. You know, he has some imperfections and I accept him for, for what he looks like. So. <laughs> Hi friends, hello, hello. I feel like I sound super sleepy and that's cause I am. I just woke up. We're doing a no makeup, cozy, sleepy vibes only. I'm going to teach you guys how to draw all of the plant doodles that your heart could ever want and desire. If you haven't seen the March setup, then like, look at this bad boy. Look at that, all the plants. There's no formula to drawing plants. I know, you know, we're like teaching, I'm teaching how to draw, but like really, I encourage you not to like copy exactly what I'm doing and try to add an extra leaf or like change the angles, especially if you're drawing repeated plants like of the same thing. It'll just look really unnatural if you don't do that. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys, I don't really sketch out each individual leaf because A, that takes forever and you guys know I'm lazy and I'm all about the efficient doodles. And also, I just don't think that's necessary with plant doodles. Um, and you'll see like in the cover page, a lot of the plant doodles, like they're really not perfect. Like literally this is like kind of just scribble. So for big boy, obviously we got a pot, elongated cylinder and two straight lines down. And this is just like a cylinder, your basic shapes. Um, you can change up the shape of the pot depending on like what type of uh, potted plant or like design of pot you want to do but for the fiddle leaf figs which is big boy over here big boy I feel like they're always kind of in larger sized pots so I'll sketch out like the placement of the pot just so I can get a, a gauge of like where the roots are gonna go and you can kind of like imagine where the the plant branches are gonna be. So I'm gonna start out with this weird, rounded, rounded triangle shape. So these are like the leaves that are coming towards you. So because the leaves are coming towards you, it's like larger towards you. Like this leaf over here, it looks like it's coming directly this way, if that makes sense. There's no one specific shape for any type of plant leaf, like there's always gonna be variations, so I do like to switch it up. But typically I'll do like a, a rounded, I don't know, bean shape? Rounded triangles, rounded bean shapes. Some have like pointy ends. And with the fiddly figs, they're all kind of in like bunches. So you'll see that this is like a bunch. And then it goes to another bunch, sprouting up like that keep going with it, layer the leaves. And I'm just using my Tombow Fudenosuke hard tip brush pen. Uh, this, I use this a lot. I like how you can like press thicker and it just makes it look more natural, especially for plants. And even though I sketched the leaves out, you'll see that I kind of still will add various bumps and stuff to them that I didn't initially sketch out just cause it's like those added, added little details that make it look a bit more realistic. They kind of look like chicken nuggets. <laughs> so at the top of fiddle leaf figs, they keep like sprouting new ones. So that's why at the top here, they're kind of going more, almost like into a, a ginormous like rose shape. After that, you can go in and draw the rest of your potted plant. Like if there's any spaces in between, then I'll draw the rest of the branch. Like you can kind of see, visualize what the branch would be attached to if it was like a real plant, you know? I'm seeing like this is tilted, which is totally fine because in real life, you know, plants do tilt, but if there's any empty spaces, you can go in and add any more. I'm gonna erase my pencil lines. And there you go, your very own big boy fiddle leaf fig plant. If you want, you can draw like the veins of the leaves. This, I don't know, kind of one of these guys. I don't really like drawing all the details of each individual leaves. I just feel like it's a little bit unnecessary because we all know they're there. And then we can go in and color the leaves really quickly. Like I mentioned in the plan with me video too, um, 
I just loosely color it like really my one of my favorite things about doing plant doodles is that you can be so loose with it and it just looks intentional and more natural so even when I'm coloring it if there's like blank spaces it kind of ends up looking like highlights on the leaves like the light is hitting it a bit differently so just color in your your chicken nuggets a little bit you know and then what I did in my video is from the center of the leaves I added more strokes so that the center was darker and it just kind of looks like shadows so it's a nice way to make your doodles look a little fancier but like you are literally just using the exact same marker and just stroke outwards from there what do you think pick a plant any plant the stringy dangling plant at the left this guy i got you my friends this one i like to draw when it's sitting on something i don't even need to really sketch things out but for the sake of this video i will for this one it's w even easier in terms of just go with the flow than than this one because with this one you still need to like map out where the the like main branch is at least and think of where the leaves are sprouting out from what I'll do is I will literally just draw the stems in these curly Q like shapes you know and just go go crazy with it because again He's a little free flowing boy, you know? You know, don't be afraid to add many. I'm just going straight in. Like, I'm not even sketching any of the leaves out at all. Because that just takes, that just takes too much time. Guys, I want you guys, by the end of this, I want you guys to be whipping out these plant doodles like no tomorrow. What I'll do, it's literally just like your typical leaf shape. A lot of them I'll do with the teardrop pointy part facing downwards. So, you know, kind of facing it around this curly line that we have. So, you know, you can do like one of these guys, one of these guys. You would think that I would start from like the base and just, you know, follow along the line. But what I like to do is spread out where I'm starting them. I'll start from the middle, jump around and the reason why i do that is because then you get random layering if you start from here then the only time you can layer is when you go under it so it'll just keep looking like you're layering the leaves underneath all the way down does that make sense but if i start here and then like jump around like let's say i go here then i can layer up top here so that's why i kind of like jump around a little bit and um, sometimes I'll actually draw, I'll draw like a little extra branch pointing upwards because sometimes the, the leaves do that, like that, keep going. If I showed you guys like the real time clips from the March cover page, you guys would be like, why should go, why are we going so fast? <laughs> like really don't make it perfect. And then once we get to like the tail ends of these leaves here, I make the leaves slightly smaller. And you can also like lightly draw the line of the, vi the vine. If you wanted it to look neater, you can do more of a pattern with it, like do equal spacing and stuff. I feel like that's a different vibe um, if you're going for like the really neat look totally do that but i'm really going for the wild child look so you know my leaves are going everywhere so once you fill in all the leaves from the things again this was like really quick you could really change up all of the um the way the leaves are falling the length of the 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 vines the the size of the leaves this type of like plant i feel like this like hanging plant there's so many variations of them so even if you wanted to do this but then with larger leaves that could be really cute um if you wanted to do this but with like the neater leaves kind of like a like a this situation where it's all very uniform that would look cute as well and once you have that like if there's any blank spaces i'll just add like a larger leaf or something and then you can go in and draw the pot but really because the leaves are covering so much you 
can't really see too much of it. Now, we go in with our green marker. So, like the last time, I'm just drawing splotches of green, not really paying attention to falling if in the lines because there's so many leaves and that would take forever. If you want to make it a bit more neater, you can a bit more neater, a bit more neat, draw the line of the vine over. It'll kind of give it a bit more structure. That's the hanging boy. This one. So the reason why this one looks a little wilder is because I was I drew more like small leaves and a tighter space. But if you see what I did here is I drew less leaves and spaced them out a bit. And also my lines of the strings were longer and like less wavy. But it's the same principles. And you can draw your shelf underneath it. Do, 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 so that it's sitting on something. So, what do you guys want to see next? Monstera leaves. Okay, we can do that one. To draw monstera leaves, like with any leaf, there's like a base shape. So, the base shape is this teardrop shape. This teardrop shape looks a little bit like a beauty blender sponge, if you guys know what that is. So I'm gonna do it like if I flip it upside down so you guys can see what the shape is. If you picture a center line and these angles coming directly like that way, I'm gonna start from the bottom here. There's like a little divot. And then when I go up here, you're gonna draw all these little notches. And if you see the notch is like following that angle here that goes towards the center. And then when you come back up, you can keep drawing those notches all the way up like that. And when you come back down, you draw the same notches that are still angling towards the center. They don't need to be matching in particular, like they don't need to be symmetrical, the leaf shape, but they are all are angling towards that center line and you can draw your little center line a little bit. And that's your monstera leaf. I'm sure you could go crazy with it like this and make it a big boy, but because these leaves are a bit more work to do, I'll just keep it simple a little bit and draw less of them. But they're just kind of like hanging like that. And then I'll go in with my, my fine liner and do all the notches. And again, once you get the hang of it, you'll be able to do them quite fast. like so. Sometimes monstera leaves actually have this where they'll have little holes in the in the plants so you can add those after and you can then draw the branches. Draw your pot underneath it and it's pretty simple. If your leaves are looking a little awkward at first I don't blame you. I feel like these are definitely maybe the hardest leaves to to doodle because they are a little weirdly shaped. Just coloring these bad boys in. I I think I just have an aversion to coloring inside the lines. It just seems so tedious. Okay, these are really easy. All of these same energy. So we'll start with these and then I'll show you why it's like literally the same. I think the main point of the the small potted plants is just changing up the types of mini pots that you put them in because it just adds something. So I will play with, you know, rounded, rounded ones. With these, I will pay even less attention to the accuracy of the leaves. Like I will literally just draw a bunch of leaves like this and then sprouting them out and if you're like oh this area seems a little empty you can add more teardrop shapes to it another thing that I will do I feel like this is like the classic potted plant you can draw like more grass-like plants 
and those are just elongated pointy pointy shapes like that and you can I don't know draw more angular one have them going like this and like a neater vibe so I'm not like alternating the leaves wait I'll show you guys what I mean so the leaves are on the same level like all the way up whereas sometimes you know if you want to make it look a little bit different you can have the leaves alternating on the stem sometimes I'll just like scribble like this and these aren't even like teardrop shapes at all kind of like the look of it like look at that with the macrame plants the hanging plants we do in the exact same thing so draw your draw your plant you draw your leaves however you want it can be any type of leaf right on top of it that's where you'll draw the macrame so you'll draw the center dot right in the center and then you're gonna draw three lines going down to the edge of the pot it's kind of like a, a zigzag pattern almost like it'll kind of look like that sometimes it'll go like right down into the center and you can draw your tassels and then you could draw like a horizontal line if you want you know change up the crocheting design of the the macrame pot if you want to do the double stacked ones that i had these guys over here you can you know draw your your hanging pot floating floating in the wind like that and then directly under it draw another one more like hanging hanging leaves like this now you can draw your your macrame so draw three lines straight down draw some zigzags basically just the bottom of the plant becomes this so you do the same same concept sometimes though you know it's not fully even visible so you don't need to draw all the details because sometimes that actually makes it look less realistic because your eye actually infers a lot of things with art like if you see here i didn't really draw the the designs of the macrame but like you guys know what it's what it is and same with the leaves here i didn't draw like all the leaves in the back but your eye like fills in the blanks a lot so i feel like it looks more natural and adds character and now we can go in and add all of our greenery I don't even know if I had a plant reference when I was thinking of this one. I was just scribbling. So, okay, I'll show you guys what I did. <laughs> Draw like sprouts, almost like a, a um, firework here. I just like really did whatever. And then I just like did zigzag shapes. They're kind of pointy leaves like that. a little bit like palm tree leaves except i think these go a bit more like vert horizontally out and if you want a bit more definition in the stem you can go over that afterwards once you add the colors though i feel like a lot of it will get filled in so i'm just Add in the color splotches to the leaves here. You can draw the basket, which is kind of cute. You can draw it hanging from a little thing. There you go. So for these ones, the stems are really long. You can draw them in advance if you want. Again, once you get to the outer edges of the pot, they do kind of curve down. And for these, I actually draw more of like a divot in the like teardrop at the at the end there so it looks like it's i don't know hanging from that that stem there draw my some extra little stems they're a little bit like spade shapes is that what it is spade shapes 
Like a heart, yeah, like a heart, like a curved heart. That's a perfect way of putting it. Okay, let me color in these boys too. I think I literally did all of the plants that I drew from this cover page. I hope this helped you guys out a little bit. I wish that things could be really simple in like a step one, step two, step three type of thing. And maybe for other artists, that type of rigid step for, for drawing things works. But a lot of it I would say is just practicing and you want to like switch things up, experiment with leaves. If there's any time to experiment with your doodles, plants are the are the, the moment for you to do that. I really felt like I just kept saying, well, just do it. <laughs> I'm sorry. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you guys. Check out the March plan with me. Hope you have a great one. Bye, love you.